control this elbow. You're going to hold this elbow here. You're going to hold the back of the, the head here. I'll show you this real quick. Can you duck in here? And you guys do the standing and on the I'm controlling the elbow, so he can do the same thing too. He can push on my elbow, duck under, duck his head under, and squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to control this elbow. I'm going to lift the elbow. The reason I'm holding this elbow is because if he if he just goes like this, in arm, and I don't hold this elbow, bang, I get a nice little cut on my face. So I don't want that. So I'm holding the elbow. I'm going to duck. But I'm controlling the head at the same time. I can either just go right to my grip here and just squeeze, or I can just go here and here and squeeze. Okay, let's go slow. Try this one. Go real slow. Doesn't it make you want to fight? Yeah, we're in the fight. I know. No, I don't know. He's talking about a choke. You have two big blood vessels that run right through your neck and feed your brain oxygen. What he's doing is showing you a choke where you're cutting off the blood flow to the brain. This is a carotid, one of your carotids right here, and this is the other one. You're using your arm to block one and their shoulder to block the other one. That's my tap. That's my tap. So don't don't do this for long practice in your brain. Get past out. You don't want to do your. I used to be a good fighter. You guys should show you guys so much. This is just like an introduction, introduction to what what I know or what I can show you. Just a little bit. There's so much you can learn. Um, let me uh, say for example, you guys are gonna. I'll, I'll show you what. Some of the moves I know that I want you guys to see what you're going to look forward to, to learning. And it's really cool because a lot of stuff that you can do in here won't really apply to water pool, but you're going to learn so much about yourself and how much um, about balance, about leverage, about um, manipulation on, on the arm, how far an arm is supposed to go, how far you can take somebody's arm when it's not supposed to go. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of different things that you can learn in here that will apply eventually. Or like I said, for self-defense too. I have a baby girl, uh, a one, almost two-year-old girl, so my whole view on life and, and, uh, and women are totally different now than when I didn't have a child. So it's, it's neat how that um, God's put me in position to, to train women in self-defense now. It just seems like it's just happening all over. So I'm training Cal State's women's water pole team. I'm training my church in women's self-defense. Now I'm training you guys. So just 